I, I think that Putin underwent extraordinary, uh, extraordinary uh, change of his psychic, because I don't think he understood what's going to happen to him in this whatever, 12 years or 13, 14 years. Mm. When he came to power, when he came to power, he was, first of all, he had, he had to f face Chechen war, he had to finish that. He, w he had to reunite somehow the state that was falling apart. And he was quite European and Western. If you remember, before 90, uh, 2003, he said mm. he can inv even envisage that Russia would join NATO. Mm. But the West snubbed him. That's, mm. I am sure. And I think that uh, the West didn't want to have to level with Putin. Mm. And I think this Europe, Europe-centric, europe, Euro, europe So they, they rejected they him, rejected, is what you're saying. And that would go with what the, I'm... And then, okay. then it becomes right. the, the, the trajectory become farther and farther and farther. Okay, so one Republic. of his slogans now is Russia returns to itself. And Alexander Ra, a biographer of Putin, says he is preparing Russians for something else. Whatever this means is very difficult to say. You've met him a few times, uh, would you say that there is such a thing as Putinism? Think, is there an ideology he I has? I don't think that Putin prepare Russians. It's a great idea, but completely European. Putin doesn't prepare Russians to anything. Russians prepare Putin for something. And what is that something that Russians are preparing I, I'd have for? no idea. It's a big gravitational force. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mystery because we live in 21st century, but we deal with an enormous country with nuclear power that is, in many senses, mm. medieval, has a medieval mentality. Russia has a medieval mentality. Absolutely. That's but I mean, it's been one of the great superpowers of the world, hasn't so it? You know, one of the space so, powers. So it what, put well, the first know, man in space, no, Yuri Gagarin. Let's, 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 I mean, it's very, very naive idea. And that's why it came from America. A naive idea that if you kill uh, the tyrant and make one democratic, free, free democratic elections, everything is going to be fine. This is, we see what's going on in Iraq, we see what's going on in Afghanistan, mm. in Libya. What does it prove? Idea of Europocentrism and liberal idea that freedom gives you, freedom gives you prosperity is absolute mistake. Mm. And I think it's very interesting to watch how, first of all, the other centers of culture, great civilizations like India, Hinduism, or China, for that matter, or Islam, Islam world, they, are com they have completely different understanding and values. And these values can it be changed by politics mm. even. I'm not talking about tanks mm. or, 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 or rockets or, well, it's very difficult to change. The same thing with Russia. It's very difficult. So you're saying Russia's backward? Why you, you give to that word pejorative matter? Because it's, it's not pejorative. No, but there are those who have it's expressed... It's quite arrogant to say those, medieval. No, it's quite arrogant Well, to I'm say not that. saying backward, but I'll give you an idea of what Stalin said. And he said, we are 50 or 100 years behind the advanced countries. We must make this up this distance in 10 years. You, uh, he, so he, so he, was there a sense he that was Russia right, felt inferior but he, compared Stalin to the Stalin was West? right, but he failed. He couldn't do because he believed that politics can change mentality. Mm. I think it's a big mistake for, for, for Europe to think that Putin or whoever else can change, can change Russian mentality.